What I've got here is a guitar with a hole punched through the side. Um, I'm first going to attempt um, the repair by creating these little curved pieces uh, out of maple. Uh, this one might protect it from the outside as this one that's not quite as curved will be pushed on the inside and I think it'll uh, act as a good um, cleat in there. Uh, this one's 80 thousandths of an inch. I'll probably thin it down a tiny bit after. Um, and, and of course uh, cut it smaller. But these will act um, as good uh, calls I guess for part of the repair. I'll probably put a tef piece of Teflon underneath there too as I try to clamp it in place. If that's the choice I choose. Uh, anyway this is a big hole in a guitar. So he's left all the pieces as they were, so it's a matter of pushing all that stuff back up. Um, but it is a small bodied, you know, parlor style guitar. So, uh, getting your hand in there is a little awkward. But, um, let's begin. This guitar uh, broke right where there was a rib on the side. Um, must have taken quite a hit, but that might be what's kind of saving it, so we'll see uh, what else we encounter. I'm able to get my hand in here so far. Um, I'm trying to kind of move the problem wood out of the way, grab at the rib and try to haul the whole thing that way a bit. Still has a way to go, and my arm quite can't quite make it without trying to disturb too much. Put this in here and hope to creating a table. Where on one end I can put it on top of the tail block. Try to put my scissor jack on top of this table. table that I've just created is certainly on the tail block. The scissor jack is in there. I'm hoping it'll be made tall enough by stacking some pieces down at the bottom. stacking a bunch more of those. So I've got the scissor jack attached to these magnets and then I built up the table and then tightened from here the scissor jack upwards and let's take a look kind of what we have for 
pressure here, I guess. It's a piece of Teflon. I should be able to remove that without altering where that jack is. And just by pressing a little bit along the way, I should be able to get this all in place. Bit of a bit of a jam. If I can just fill that a little bit after. It'll be the first step in uh, trying to fix this hole. Let's see if I can apply a bit more pressure by cranking up the scissor jack. keeps moving. this table back in. Again, if you try to rest it on top of the tail block. I've got my magnets on the top uh, aligned with where I need this um, scissor jack. Uh, and the scissor jack has got the magnet on the top. So uh, it will be open and closed by this flexible shaft here. So let's see what we can accomplish with this. I need to place the scissor jack on top of the little table I created. I need to 
uh, go in there and ultimately I want to raise it to the point where the magnets attach. You can see, hopefully you can see, well maybe we can't, but the scissor truss is way in there. Here we're seeing where the scissor clamp is pushing up against that little piece of uh, maple we glued up there. I've mixed a little bit of glue boost in the you know, browns and ambers in there to fill in some spots. And, uh, I'll just kind of drop fill. They have a, a little kind of crayon with glue boost that you can use to put on the areas you don't want any of the glue to go on. But this kind of amber and brown finish, nothing will match, I think, perfectly, but boy, it's not bad at all. So with some red mahogany stain with a bit of tobacco brown, I've uh, stained some of those edges that the sandpaper uh, took off. And it leaves a rather smooth um, patch, I guess. It's not going to be perfect. Um, but at least it won't catch with the glue boost that's in there too. Uh, we won't catch uh, pants or anything into that. It, it'll be smooth enough that it won't catch anything. And there is a patch inside that's really strong. Should never crack any more from this point on. But uh, that is the fixed, fixed crack on this uh, Fender guitar.